Welcome to a Parallel Project Training APM Project Fundamentals Qualification Podcast based on the APM Body of Knowledge 7th edition. You should be using this in conjunction with our e-learning, podcasts and potentially a tutor-led course. For more information please visit www.parallelprojecttraining.com Hello and welcome to our Palo Project Training Podcast. We're doing the PFQ Box 7 with Paul Neighbour and Jan Underdown. Hello, Jan. Good morning. Good morning. And we're up to a quite an interesting one on uh, deployment baselines, the project management plan and deployment baselines. Mm-hmm. So here we have to define the term deployment baselines, state how deployment baselines differ between uh, when you've got a linear and an iterative life cycle, mm-hmm. which would be quite an interesting conversation, yes. and outline the stakeholders in a project management plan. Yeah, so who'd be interested in or impacted by so define the term deployment baseline so let's start with a baseline what's a baseline a baseline is an agreed state isn't it um it's it's when people all agreed yeah on the plans and it's like uh, if i'm going to deliver you a house i agree the scope of the house the requirements of the house the time scales the budget um the success criteria perhaps yeah so that's right. So the baselines define what you're going to get, yes. how much you're going to spend, how yes. long it's going to take, take yes. and what the criteria that you're going to use to judge whether you've achieved that or not. Or not, yes. That's right. So so it's usually documented in a, a project management plan. Right. And a project is, management plan is like the contract between the project manager and the sponsor. Yeah. It involves yeah. lots of plans. It's a collection. The yes. agreement, yeah. Yes. And it's... It's then what you then use to control the delivery of the project. So you measure your right. time, cost, scope and requirements against those baselines. You do. As you do the progress reporting, that's what you're measuring against, putting the actuals against the plan. Yeah, yeah. So if you don't baseline the plan... There's no agreement. There's, there's no there's, agreement. That's right. As to what's actually going to be done. That, absolutely. And it's important when we're doing change control. It's yes. It's important when we're trying to measure our costs and our progress because you need something to measure against. You do. And also, it can actually feature when we come in to do change control, the impact analysis yeah. against those baselines. You know, so what's yeah. the impact on cost or time? So let's move on and talk about linear life cycle. So a classical, traditional linear life cycle where you've got concept, definition, concept definition, deployment. Yes. You sort of agree this baseline as part of the project management plan. Yes, at absolutely. The end, the definition phase. and. Yes, and then from that, then it's it's kind of set in stone, agreed, go through the gate as as part of the actual go no go decision, and then we actually measure the progress and the actuals. Yes, yeah. and we only change it if we if something in pestle changes or yes. the customer requirements. There's something change, else. Yes, absolutely, and it goes through formal change control. Yeah, so iterative life cycles are a bit more flexible. You sort of set the overall. Uh, high level plan yes so we might have four we might be planning four or five iterations, iterations and each iteration is going to take six to eight weeks yes so it's a high level baseline but you're usually using what they call outcome planning yes you do so you're you saying do. at the end of this project we want to be able to, to do to do this x y and z yeah. to make more online sales or we want to right. be able to and of course usually to uh, the end athletic of each- performance or and usually at the end of each iteration, something is, is delivered into the BAU for them to actually have a go at and that's test. That's right, that's right. Um, and then so they the come, invite the changes in. Yeah. Okay, so, and then you re-baseline it before yeah. each iteration. So what? So that's right. So the key difference is you, you, you show working product to the users. Yes. And then you get their feedback. Yes. And, and then you prioritise want... the requirements for the next That's right, and this is where iteration. Well, we talk about that later on in, yeah. in scope management, when we talk yeah. about Moscow requirements. So it's stuff. a bit like, I call them islands of stability. <laughs> so yes. in, in a linear life cycle, what you're trying to do is a whole island of stability from the start of implementation to the end. Right. So it's you... like one thing that you're trying to lock down. Right. In, in Agile, you're just creating shorter islands of stability. You do, you So you've do. got a little bit, this is like, we know what we're doing for the next six weeks, let's deliver that, and then we'll yes. review And further. of course, what you've got is the environment which you're delivering into may be changing. Yes. And in other podcasts, we talked about pestle analysis. Yes. Um, so that will incorporate those changes. Like if IT gets upgraded in some sort of way or a new, new yes. functionality comes in, then we can actually have the opportunity to, to actually change. Once those changes are agreed, then we re-baseline. Yeah. And then we're ne- into the next yeah. iteration. So 
Um, <clears throat> so that's what. So those all go into a project management plan, which yes. is a detailed plan for the execution of the project. The next thing is outline the stakeholders who might be interested in that project management okay, plan. Okay, so quickly, definition of stakeholder, people who are impacted by um, or have a part to play in it or could influence a project. Yeah. So those stakeholders could be users. People are going to be using the output of the project. It's quite actually, because it's outlined the stakeholders of a project management plan. So that's not all stakeholders, isn't it? So, no. Because it'll have the budgets in. It'll have that's the right. Detailed yeah, requirements risks. in have, and people's scoping, so you procurement. So maybe, like I haven't seen the project management plan for HS2, for instance. Right. Do you <laughs> so, want to see it? <laughs> well, I'd love to see the detail, yeah. Okay. But they won't publish it. No. Because it's got commercially sensitive data in it. Uh-huh. So, so the stakeholders of the project management plan will be... Con, will be project, manager, manage, project manager, the sponsor, sponsor uh, the steering maybe the group, users, the, steering the group. users definitely. Um, but it may not be the contractor. You see, you may not give your project management but plan. But people will be inputting into yes. this. They'll be um, actually helping yeah. you develop yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And also I think identifying things like risks. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I remember uh, when I... Did big projects. There was it was quite controlled who saw the project management plan. It wasn't a widely available document. No, know, because no. The, Especially know, if sometimes you may be featuring on the risk register. Yes, and exactly. Paul is a risk. The customer, for instance. Yes, you know, you wouldn't absolutely. Show the client, your project management no, plan. No, absolutely not. You may show them a version of it, I suspect. Yes, um, cut down version. Good. Well, sometimes these project management plans can be quite hefty. Yeah. All so, very thin. Project management plan, deployment baselines. Yes, done. I think we've got that. So deployment baselines in a traditional life cycle um, is, you know, agreed at the end of definition yeah. and iterative at the end of each iteration. Each, yeah. Um, I think, well, I don't know, iterative, you have a, you say this is the number of sprints that we're going to do uh-huh, over the whole right. time scale. So it's a broader deployment broader, yes. baseline. Good. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Paul. We hope you enjoyed this podcast and found it informative. To find out about our training courses, e-learning or tutor-led course, please go to www.parallelprojecttraining.com.